Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of stuff that I got recently. Um, so there's a bunch of things that I'm going to show you first that I just got today. Um, and then I'm going to show you some other bits and pieces that I've got over the past couple of weeks or so. Um, so everything that you see before you here um, cost me $17 and I think 50 cents or something. Um, it all came from a second hand store, like an op shop kind of thing, like a thrift store, if you will. Um, and uh, I'm quite stoked to have some of these things that are here. Um, I was very surprised to find two of these. These are PL adapters. Um, they're pretty common in America, um, especially in the early 2000s. I've never personally never seen these before in person. Um, so this is a PL bulb. We have fixtures that take these. You can get there's like down lights. Um, I think some wall lights use these. And uh, I've actually got a desk lamp that uses a bulb similar to this. But these actual adapters I hadn't, I'd only seen in pictures online of American ones. I didn't know we had them in Australia. Yet um, these two, two of them turned up at the lion's shed. And the best part about them is that they're preheat. So I'll be giving you guys a start up of these um, a bit later on. These are made by Solite, or Sulite, or however you're supposed to pronounce that. And they've got brand new GE Biax. Um, PL bulbs in them. This one's 18 watt, that one's 13 watt. Um, so I'll put them back. I'm just going to put them over here. Uh, and then I got these. These were in the same box as them. They were the only other interesting thing in the box. Um, these are just general electric 60 watt incandescent light bulbs. Incandescent is very, very hard to come by in Australia, so I'm quite glad to have these because I stopped making them in, I think, 2009. Yeah, I've got five of these that are brand new in the box. They used to be ten because this package goes bigger, but I'm quite happy to have five of them. You can see the etch. And inside, you can't really see it, but the filament. They are bayonet cap. I would have liked if they were screwing, but... Because um, screwing's rarer. But I'm happy to have bayonet cap ones. So, put these two aside as well. And then they have some bigger things here. This is, I think this might be 52 inch. This is a Omega Sahara ceiling fan. I already have four of these in white. I don't have them in, in any other colors. Though. This one's stainless steel, as you can see. Um, it was five dollars. Put this down on the ground. I do quite like the finish on these um, stainless steel fans. So that's what the blades look like, and this is what the motor looks like. Um, very weird design fan, these fans. I've got three of them that I got um, from a house that I took them down from on work experience, and then I've got one that I got out of a dumpster, and then this one came from the lion's shed. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's complete. It has all the parts, at least from what I can tell. It has the mounting bracket, the uh, little spaces that go in the page, and it even has a remote kit. Um, and the remote kit has a light portion. There's no light button on the fan. Interesting. Um, on the remote, but yes. Has a remote kit, which is um, a pretty big thing. Uh, because uh, remote fans, I don't, I've only got one other remote fan other than this one. Um, and remote kits are quite expensive too. They're like $50. So that's cool. I got that for $5, fan and remote. And I got two of these. Um, these were the only two that were there, but they are 18 watt fluorescent lights and they have diffusers on them and they're in really good condition, which is pretty rare. I'm going to get the other one. Those were $4 each. So $8 for both of them. I've got no idea who makes them, so I'm going to take them apart now and uh, find out what brand sticker is on the inside. This is what the end caps look like. Um, so that's everything that came from the secondhand shop slash thrift shop um, so yeah um, last week I think I went to Bunnings which is like a big hardware store in Australia and these were on clearance I went to get that which is this is just a drain it's for the new shed um, I got these as well which I'm probably gonna end up using in the new shed these are well I mean they're Dita, Dita's a pretty shit company but um, yeah, Dita's a pretty rubbish company, but uh, 
these were $5 each, which is probably all they're worth, honestly, but um, I got them on clearance for $5. They're four USB outlets, um, on a, obviously on a switch bait, so when I got two of them, and there was one more there, and I'm probably going to go back and get the third one. They were $5 each, so that was pretty cool. That drain was like $20, but it's going to be in the, for the new shed. Um, another thing that I got recently, this isn't too interesting, I got this from my aunt, it's an onyx, I don't even know what kind of fan you call this, but it's like, yeah, funny little design, what do they call it, tornado air circular fan, it's just kind of a modern-y portable fan, but I'll probably put it somewhere and use it um, until it stops working, maybe I'll give it to my sister, I don't know. Um, so what I'm going to do now, let's give you a start-up of both of these PL adapters. Um, I just so happen to have a lamp right here that we can put them into. If I can put them down here without dropping them. This is the 18 watt one. They are screw-in. Um, it would be cool if they were bayonet cap because the American ones aren't bayonet cap. They're always screw-in. But anyway, here we go. That was not very blink happy. I can't really hear it either. For memory, the 13 watt one is actually more blink happy. I'd have already tried these once. In the box. Here's the uh, 13 watt one. You can tell um, that it's lower wattage because it's, well, first of all, it says it on it, but it's got a shorter tube. That was a bit better. So, yeah. Preheat fluorescent PL adapters, which is pretty cool. Um, now I'm going to open up one of these and see what brand it is and maybe put a cord on them and try. This is the company that makes these fluorescent lights. I've never heard of them before. Um, this one, that one I couldn't get the ballast cover off. It's, I don't know why, but I got the ballast cover off this one. So let's put a cord on this one. And Okay, so I put a cord on this preheat fluorescent light and let's give it a start up. So this is the first start up. Nice. They both have the same bowl when it's these Austrian Lumilux cool white bulbs that I have tons of. Um, and I don't think they're original to the fixtures. They wouldn't be. So, I'm not going to put a cord on that other one right now. Because um, I can't get it open. But, yep, there you go. Uh, expect a video of these and a video of the power... The, um, PL adapters and a video of this fan eventually and maybe these if I decide to make one so yep thanks for watching